Hi everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for assignmentsystamp.com. Today I'm going to be creating four really quick cards using this stamp set called Flower Happy. It's included in the July 2023 card kit. So this stamp set is really fun. There's a lot of buildable elements to create your own kind of flower pattern or individual flowers, whatever you'd like. So since there are so many little individual stamps and pieces that I already know in the back of my head, it's going to take a little bit of time to stamp even just one card. I decided, you know what, I'm going to maximize my time spent stamping and I'm going to create four cards all at the same time. Each of these cards will have pretty much the same card design and the same colors. However, when it comes to stamping the greeting, which I'll do at the very end here, I'm going to mix it up and put different greetings on all four cards. So in order to get perfect stamping, I've taken some misty sticky mats and these are somewhat transparent. So I'm layering them on top of each other and then placing my card front right on top. So all four of the card fronts are in the same position on each of these four mats starting with one of the uh, mats that I've already prepared. And I've got five colors of ink, cherry, peony, grapefruit, tropic, and sunbeam. And I'm going to be using these colors to stamp all the different elements, the different floral elements included in the stamp set. I'm going to start with this larger stamp in the corner of my card, and I'm going to use the color grapefruit. Now these stamps are brand new. I have not used them ever. So the first stamping of this, it's going to be pretty splotchy because the surface of this brand new stamp is quite slick. So one thing that you can do to help with that, and I didn't do it here, but I just thought I'd give you this tip. I wish I would have remembered to do it before I started stamping. It's just rub your fingers over the surface of the stamp that kind of conditions it and makes it so that the ink sticks a bit better. But since I didn't do that, I just stamped that image a couple of times to get a really solid impression, which is totally easy to do when you're using a misty or stamping platform. So I've replaced that first card front with a second, the second card front stamped that. And then I'm moving on to the third. I'll stamp that as well. And then I'm going to move on to the fourth. So this really maximizes the amount of stamping you get with one stamp, or in this case, I'm going to use many different floor elements from the stamp set. Moving on to another image, and I'm nestling that up right next to that orange flower. I'm now using the color cherry. And the way I'm going to build this card design is I'm just starting in what will be the left bottom corner of my card front and I'm kind of building out from there. If you want lots of different floor elements sort of nestled up next to each other, um, this is my preferred way to do it. Just start with one in one corner and then build out from there. So I'm going to continue stamping, adding more and more color to all of these. And eventually when I start to have a little bit of a floral spread, I'll actually be able to stamp multiple stamps all at the same time. So right here, I've got three green stamps and then I've got three pink stamps and I'm really moving those around and getting the, the best kind of maximizing, <laughs> getting the best bang for my buck with all of this stamping. And I really feel like I'm getting that because I'm stamping all four card fronts. So this is a little bit of a spoiler, but I actually finished all four of these cards from beginning to end in one hour. So that averages only 15 minutes per card, super fast and easy. And if you don't want to put a greeting on these quite yet, you could always leave them blank. And then whenever you need a card for any occasion, you could find a different greeting and then fill in the gap where the greeting is. But since this stamp set today has quite a few greetings in it and they're all sized perfectly for this card design, I decided to go ahead and just add those greetings in here at the end. I'm going to finish off the last bit of stamping by adding just a few more flowers on that bottom right edge, just filling out those areas. And then I came back and I started to do all the little dots in the centers of the flowers and just kind of filling out that area. There are two smaller dots that are included in the stamp set. So I was able to stamp the 
very small dot and also kind of the medium size dot at the same time. So now I'm going to move on to the greeting. And in order to get these greetings positioned perfectly horizontally, I'm using the grid transparency sheet from Simon. This is just a piece of clear plastic that has a printed grid on it. And it has the center lines, both vertically and horizontal on there. So you can get things positioned just right. So I positioned my greeting right over that center line and then picked it up on the door of my Misty and then removed that grid. Then I'm stamping my greeting in peony ink, and I'm going to stamp this a few times until I get a really solid impression. I've been doing lots of stamping today, so my ink pad might even need a little bit of re-inking. These positively saturated ink pads do need more inking more often. So when you pick up these ink pads, you might consider getting the re-inkers at the same time. So I've swapped that out for a different greeting on the second card. I'm using yet another different greeting on my third card. And then this final greeting says just because. Now to remove these card fronts from these sticky mats, all you have to do is bend back the sticky mat itself and then peel up that card. That release is really easy and it prevents the card from actually being bent or warped. After you've removed it from the sticky mat, take that clear sheet, the protective cover for the sticky mat and put it right back on top. And that makes it so no dust falls on the sticky mat and you can use it over and over and over. I've prepared four folded card fronts. These are A2 sized or five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm using some Tombow Extreme Adhesive just to glue or adhere these card fronts directly to um, the card bases. I'll press that down. I decided to add a little bit more detail with a white gel pen. This is a Jelly Roll number 10 bold uh, pen. I really prefer the number 10 because it is much more bold and I get a better flow of ink. So if you're looking for a really great white gel pen, this Jelly Roll number 10 is a great option. I really highly recommend it. So I added those dots and then my cards are finished. Like I said before, this only took me one hour to complete all of these cards. And also, like I said, you could swap out the greetings or, or stamp no greeting at all and fill that in later. Make sure you check out the supplies that are listed down below, including the card kit for July, 2023. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time.